Hey there. How you doing? You know what's great about this? Is that I can take this video as many times as I want. And if I don't like it, I just get rid of it. But seeing how this is my first time at this, I'll probably just roll with it because I don't really care what people think. What I do care about is that the message about not a bystander gets out there. And as the owner, actually co-owner, I don't think my wife would appreciate it if I said that it was all mine because I came up with the name and she just had the idea to turn us into a business. Not that I wasn't selling already, right? So let's do this. Let's rewind it a little bit. Let's give some history. So back in 2020, in October, right? And we all know what's happened at the beginning of 2020. Um, everybody was getting creative. Everybody had a, a you know, an audience. Uh, nobody had anywhere to go, right? We were all bored and we were trying to figure out what are we gonna do with ourselves, right? So we had a captive audience and we had the ability to create. And that turned into things like Etsy blowing up, um, Home Depot, jacking the prices up on all their crafting materials, specifically building stuff, right? Plywood and any other type of wood products. I don't think it's gone down too much since that happened. So in October, I was feeling a little creative myself. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna make something that I've seen on the internet. And I think that's where a lot of us get our start. Uh, we see something that we like and we have that creative fire we're kind of unsure, we lack the confidence of whether or not we can actually execute on something like that. And, and lo and behold, you give yourself a chance to show what you have and what your capabilities are, and you surprise yourself. And then it takes off from there. And that kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of how it went for me. I saw a clock on there that um, I wanted for myself. Um, as a as a gun owner and a and a avid uh, lover of firearms and the Second Amendment, you know I uh, I enjoy shooting, and I also enjoy seeing how people take things that are used and upcycle them into something different. So that thing was clocks, and I actually had one right here. So, this is what I do, or at least it's it's a small piece of the puzzle of the, the many things that I do now, but this is how it all began. And I wish I still had that first, that first piece that I made, well, but it was so awful in comparison to what I'm doing now that, you know, looking back on it, I, I kind of regret not hanging on to it. It's kind of like that first dollar you see in the shops where you go, specifically make, like a barber shop always has a dollar hanging up on a frame, right? Reminds them of how they started their business. Well, I made the mistake of throwing it out, but it's all right because I still have pictures of it. Thank God for technology. But as you can see, right, engraving wood, staining it, putting a, a torch to it, but most importantly, reutilizing brass shells from once fired ammunition um, is where I launched my love for this sort of thing right so this is a 15 inch clock I use 40 cal shells for the uh, for the minutes I use the 223 shells uh, for the hours and then uh, I just most recently got into making my own custom clock hands right another story another day but just so we got a little history. That's how we got started. 
from there, I thought, well, if I could do this, why wouldn't I turn it into something else? Let's see if I can put my stuff out there, put myself out there, challenge myself, right? Because the first time that you get a sale, right, where you have to custom build something for somebody and you've never done it before, that's, that's tough. That's, it's a challenge, right? Your, your confidence, it didn't matter. Your confidence level for yourself, building one for yourself is totally different. But you know that you have to, you have to ramp it up. You can't just say, you know what? If I, if I mess up, that's okay. Because we don't, we don't stand for mediocrity, right? We understand if we sell a product, it has to be top notch. Even to the point where we're so self-critical that we believe that it probably still has some flaws, but the customer would never see it, have no idea. Um, but I believe that you get the best quality work by picking on yourself. So it's, it's worked for me in the past and uh, I'll continue to do it that way. So lo and behold, Etsy page, I named it Ammo Arts. It seemed uh, like a quirky, made sense type of name at the time. Um, since then, it has been changed, but we'll get to that. But Ammo Arts, we were. So established in October of 2020, began my journey on Etsy, selling just clocks at the time. And actually, I think I did a few other uh, custom items that I don't think that I've revisited, like a, a coin display. And I think I did somebody, um, an, an address uh, plaque that was made of nothing but the shells for the numbers. Um, it was kind of heavy. I'm kind of wondering if it's still attached to his house. Um, but that's besides the point, right? You know, trial and error, we find the things that we're good at and we run with it. And if we happen to find some some areas we think we're gonna be good at along the way, then, you know, we'll give it a shot, right? Um, because you don't know if you can until you try. And if you fail and you really wanna go again, that's what life's all about. So you keep going until you perfect it. So because it's a custom product, because it takes time to build anywhere between five to seven days, um, especially since a lot of us uh, aren't content creators full-time, we, we have a full-time job, we support our, ourselves, our families, and and our side hustle, right? Because um, you, can't, you can't make money without spending money. So then I moved on to, well, let's see what other things that we can do, right? Um, so the clocks were the big business. How many different types of clocks we could do was, was a question, right? So I've, I've done my American flag clocks. I've done the, uh, the back to blue clocks. I got a couple other types of clocks that I've done, um, all with the same theme, right? Still using used brass shells still doing the engraving, still doing the, the staining, the same kind of techniques. And I'm sure at some point when I get another order for another one, uh, now that I've created a, a, a page or a, or a channel, um, I might even walk you all through that. So fast forward a couple years later, right? We'll say October of 2023. Well, I wanted to do something different, right? I, I have a, a lot of different tools. I got a lot of different capabilities, a couple skill sets I think that I can, you know, spotlight. Um, and, and with the, the confidence that I've built over the last two years, I, I think that I can move on to other things. One of those things was custom apparel. And I know, right? You had jumped from doing woodcrafts to, to doing custom apparel. Kind of a strange jump. Well, there's a little bit of history behind that too. And I think over the past few years, actually, um, we all understand where we are at. Um, not as just a country, but um, in, in the world, right? As a, as a military member or retired military member, um, I have been overseas and I have seen um, all sorts of different countries, third world countries, um, countries that 
our peers to our own. Um, so I've seen it at all different levels. And the one common theme that I think that, that I've seen through all my years of traveling is we all live the same kind of life, right? We all get up in the morning and go to work and, and um, you know, deal with the day to day, support our family, love our family, you know, and more importantly, love ourselves, take care of ourselves. But it's not always easy. And what makes it harder is is this is this this ability to share ideas to share content um, and most importantly to share opinions about things that are going on now that could be positive but we've seen over time that it's not it hasn't been um, and there's a lot of divisiveness and there's a lot of just not being together as a human race. You know, not just as a country. Sure, I live in the United States of America. Best country in the world. I served it for 24 years. I love it. USA, baby. But unfortunately, it's kind of been on the downslope. And I know, right? We have peaks and valleys. I think we've been in this valley for too long. And it's getting dark. And I think we all feel the same thing, right? We're just over the hate, we're over the anger, we're over the, the so many different external elements that are creating this, um, this thing, right? That we've, we're all living in right now. And I think individually, I believe that, you know, we, we don't buy into that, right? At least I hope we don't. You know, there's a majority of us that that still understand that, hey, you know, there is a, there's hope for us. There's a place that we can get back to. We just 